Hello and welcome to SAS Guru. In this video, we'll create a folder structure in AWS S3 and an activation target in the data cloud. Then, create a series of activation segments. After completing each activation, we will validate the data in AWS S3. The first is an activation for the segment customers parked at EV charging stations. The second activation segment is high loyalty customers who are not actively purchasing. The third activation segment will be a reward program for customers with low CSAT scores. The last activation segment identifies customers who are only in the parking system, not the reward system. Before creating a new activation target, we first need to create a folder in the AWS S3 bucket. The bucket will continue to be SAS Guru Bootcamp Bucket. In that, create a folder. Click Create Folder. Let's call it Segments from Data Cloud. Click Create Folder. The folder is created. All the segments will be published into this folder. Let's go back to the Data Cloud. Go to Activation Targets. Click New. Then go to File Storage, AWS S3. Let's give the target name AWS3. Click Next. The bucket name is SAS Guru Bootcamp Bucket. The parent holder will be the new folder we just created segments from Data Cloud. The access key will be the same one we made while creating the user. The secret key will be the same secret key we created along with the access key. The file format will be CSV, and the data space will be the default. Click Save. The activation target was successfully created. Now we'll create activation for the segment customers who have used EV charging stations at parking. Then, we'll validate the data in AWS S3 after the activation publishing is complete. Let's start by creating the segment. Click on New in the Activation section. The activation target will be AWS S3. Membership will be based on individual, as it is based on the selected segment. Click Next. Then we'll add email as a contact point. The email address path will be contact point email party to individual ID. Click Next. Now let's add the additional attributes. Click on Add Attributes. In the individual attributes, select salutation, first name, last name. In the related attributes, let's add parking reservation. Then add the parking reservation name. The path is from individual, individual ID parking reservation contact, reservation start date, and reservation end date. Click Save. If we want, we can also give a preferred attribute name to all these attributes. We'll keep them as default. The parking reservation sorting will be based on the created date, with the most recent being available first. Click Next. Now let's give a name and a description. Type the name as EV Charging Customers. Keep the refresh type as incrementally fresh and save. The processing will start. Go back to this segment. Click Publish Now. The publishing status will be publishing. And after the segment is published in the activation, the customers will be published in AWS S3. The segment has been published successfully and the status shows success. Go to the activation. The activation has also been published successfully. The publish type is full refresh because it was published for the first time. There were six customers in the segment and the same have been activated. Go back to AWS 3. In the folder segments from Data Cloud, you will see a new folder created. Salesforce C360 segments in that there will be a folder for year, month, date. Time and inside that there will be a folder called Customers who have used charging stations at parking, which is the name of the segment and EV charging customer, which is the name of the activation, followed by date, timestamp. Open that folder, you'll see two files, a CSV file with the data and a JSON file, which is the metadata file. The CSV file can be opened using this open button. It can also be downloaded and once downloaded or opened, this is the CSV file. It has got the customer ID, salutation, first name, last name, email address, version, and the parking reservation details. 
So this is how a segment can be published into AWS S3. In this section, we will activate a segment for high loyalty customers who are not actively purchasing. Once the activation publishing is complete, we will validate the data in AWS S3. To do that, go to Activation, click New. Activation target will be AWS S3. Membership will be based on Unified Individual. Click Continue. Add email as a contact point. Click Next. Let's add additional attributes. In the Unified Individual, select Salutation, First Name, Last Name, and from the calculated insights, let's add the loyalty points. Under the related attributes, let's get sales order details. Then sales order ID, sales order status, and the confirmation date. Click Save. In the sales order, let's select the max number of attributes to 5. Sort by confirmation date, most recent. Click Next. Now, let's give a name, inactive loyalty customers. The refresh type will be incremental fresh. Click Save. The activation status processing and it's active. Let's go back to segment and publish the segment. High loyalty customers who are not actively purchasing segment has been published successfully. Let's go to the activation. You will notice that the activation was also published successfully with a full refresh. There are six records in this activation. The AWS S3 bucket, the segment from the data cloud folder, you will find a folder with the name High Loyalty Customers who are not active in purchasing. Inactive Loyalty Customers, that's the name of the activation. It will contain two files, a CSV file and a JSON file. The CSV file will contain details such as the unified individual ID, salutation, first name, last name, email address, total loyalty points, and sales order details. In this video, we're going to create activation for segment reward program customers who have given a low CSAT score. Then, we'll validate the data in AWS S3 after the activation publishing is complete. In the activations, click New. The activation target will be AWS S3. Activation membership will be a unified individual. Click Continue. Then select email as the contact point. Click Next. Add additional attributes. The unified individual, select salutation, first name, last name, and from loyalty points per customer, select loyalty points. Click Save. Click Next. Let's give a name to this activation. Low CSAT score loyalty customer. Select Incremental Refresh and Save. The activation is active. Then publish the segment. The segment reward program customers who have given low CSAT score has been published successfully. The activation has also been published successfully with full refresh. In the AWS S3 bucket, inside the segments from the data cloud folder, there is a folder with the name reward program customers who have given low CSAT score, underscore low CSAT score loyalty customers. It has two files. The CSV file has the data and the JSON has the metadata. Opening the CSV file, you will see the ID, salutation, first name, last name, email, and total loyalty points. In this last section, we'll create an activation for segment only parking system customers who are not in the reward program. Then we'll validate the data in AWS S3 after the activation publishing is complete. Go to Activations, click New. Select Activation Target as AWS S3, Membership as Unified Individual. Click on Continue, then select Email. Click Next. Now, we'll add additional attributes. From the Unified Individual, add Salutation, First Name, Last Name. In the Related Attributes, the Parking Reservation. Then add the Parking Reservation Name, Reservation Status, Start Date, and the End Date. Click on Save. In the parking reservation, set the maximum number of attributes as 5. Sort by Created Date and Most Recent. Click Next. Give the name as Parking System Only Customers. Select Incremental Refresh. Click Save. The activation is active. Now, let's go back to the segment and publish it. 
The segment only parking system customers who are not in the reward program has been published successfully. The activation has also been published successfully with a full refresh. In the AWS history bucket, inside segments from the data cloud folder, there is a folder with the name only parking system customers who are not in the program. Inside that folder, there are two files, a CSV and a JSON file. The CSV file has data and the JSON file has metadata. By opening the CSV file, you will see there is an ID, salutation, first name, last name, email address, and the reservation details.